Hello, my pretty awkward fam, and welcome back to the podcast. Today's Heart to Heart is going to be all about how to pick the right next best investment for you. And I know this kind of goes without saying, but I always like to say this before I give any kind of guidance that is truly a personal opinion. Truly, this is a uh, an, an experienced-based question. I get this question a lot how do you pick the right mentor for you? How do you know what kind of program you need? Do you need long-term support? Do you need just a plan to run with? And obviously the answer is going to be different for every single person, right? Everyone's going to have different opinions. So this goes without saying, this is my podcast. This is my opinion. You might hear differently from other people, but I will say the reasons that I am going to list out for you, the things that I really thought about before recording this, I'm pretty positive most people will agree with almost all of them uh, because they're just pretty unanimous, right? It goes down to just being a good human. So we're going to get into that today so you can really be guided to choose a an investment for you, especially as we're getting um, you know, into February. We're almost in February by the time this, this episode comes out of 2023, and maybe you invested in the beginning of the year or maybe you waited and you didn't. I know a lot of people do that and you are looking for your next investment and you're like, I know I'm ready to get to that next level. I know I need support and guidance. I know I want to work on this project. How do I pick the right person for me? So I'm going to talk about that today. Um, and then I'm also going to share the different investments that you can make with me. I've, I'm in the middle of talking about my one-on-one -on -one coaching, my packages um, on my social media. I ran a really, really awesome biz remodel workshop this past week. It was so freaking epic. And so I want to give you the details. If you didn't get to come to that, or even if you didn't, you just want to hear about it again, that part will be at the end. It, I'll go through it really quickly, but also so you have this for the future. Maybe you want to bookmark this episode. If you know that you want to work with me at some point in the future, you can understand my different private coaching offers and how they might fit into your plan for investments this year, your plan for support. Okay, let's dive in. So how to pick the right coaching investment for you. So there are, let me see, I have one, two, three. Okay, I have four main themes. And I'm going to list those out and then dive deep in each one. So first is having shared values. The second is the style of coaching that you're seeking. The third is the price. And the fourth is the length. Um, I should say length slash intensity probably, or how hands-on. So, and I want to just make this clear actually, before I, I dive into this, these are all suggestions for slightly more established entrepreneurs, people who already have been in business for a while, have seen financial success, have signed clients, built and sold programs. So if you're just starting out, you still will get some, some help with this. This is going to help you just in general with picking um, a mentor or a program. But when I talk about pricing and length and things like that. There's going to be so many more options for you when you're just starting out, especially if you're interested in like a group program or a course or things like that. So just know that. And when I list out my offers, I'll reiterate this at the time, but the offers I'm going to list out are for more established entrepreneurs. Um, if you are not if you're just starting out or you're in your first few years, you're not quite full-time yet, do not worry, my friend, because I have some things coming to support you very, very soon, the end of February, early March, something that I've been wanting to do for a while. So stay tuned. Okay. So let's dive in. The first way to pick the right next best investment or the right mentor for you, in my opinion, is having shared values. I think this is so important when you are going to be working with someone um, a little bit more intimately, right? Again, if it's a course, if it's a group program, not as much, but I still think it really does matter to be quite honest. I think this is the one that goes across anything you purchase. I personally am not going to purchase something from someone that I don't have shared values with, even if it is a $7 thing, honestly even if it's free, even if I'm going to give someone my email or my phone number, usually I'm going to want to have some shared values with them. So these are things like integrity, honesty, having radical responsibility, um, diversity, equity, inclusion, things like um, how they handle conflict, how they handle um, failed payments, for example. I know that sounds like something random, but how does someone handle that? What are their policies? Are they a human and understand that life happens or are they very, very strict? I'm not saying people who are strict are not humans. I should, I should preface this, but what's their style, right? What is their, their style? I'm going to go into my personal uh, style and values and all of that when I break down my offer. So you'll get, you'll get that. But this has been 
huge for me, especially in the last few years. This has been probably the number one reason I invest in someone. My most recent mastermind I invested in, as well as the last two private coaching containers that I was in in the last two years, all started because of this. We all had a shared value. We run our businesses with integrity. We don't um, we don't care if someone can pay us. We have to make sure it's the right fit. And that's something that's so, so huge. And I really encourage you when you're investing with someone in a private container, whatever, it, whether it's a quick one-off intensive or whether it's a full-blown six to 12 months online coach or ongoing coaching relationship. Um, that's really big, right? I will not take someone into my private coaching just because they can pay if they are not emotionally and mentally at the place where they can take advantage of it, right? That's really, really huge. Just because someone can pay for something doesn't mean that it's the right, it's the right choice for them. And actually vice versa, just because someone is not in the financial state where they can, sometimes it is the right investment for them. So if they can find the money in some way, whether it's a gift, whether it's a, you know, someone is, well, I guess that is a gift. I was going to say someone's going to lend it to them, whatever, whatever the case is. Sometimes I've seen that really, really pay off for, for people because they were so right for it. They were mentally there. They were emotionally there. They had enough of the, the knowledge necessary to really take off and they just didn't have the funds. Right. But then I've seen the opposite where someone has the funds. Maybe they have a very um, supportive job, nine to five that supports them. Maybe they have savings, maybe they have family members, whatever the case may be, they have the money and they're not mentally or emotionally there. So they don't really show up for it. I've seen that happen. And so for me, integrity is so big. I want to make sure that the containers I'm coming in are with people who value that first and foremost. Is this the right fit? And they will spend the time to make sure. This past mastermind that I invested in, I knew the 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 creator very, very, very well. And even then, we still had over an hour conversation about it because we really wanted to make sure it was the right fit. If I'm going to be with someone for a year, even if I'm going to be with someone for a VIP day, I usually like to get on a call with them because that's a whole day I'm going to spend with someone especially if I'm going to fly out to them, if it's an in-person one, uh, that's a really big deal. I want to make sure that we have those shared values um, of integrity, of honesty, of radical responsibility, all of those things. So having shared values is, in my opinion, the first and foremost thing. And look for things like, you know, how, when you look at their page, what are the things that pop out to you? What are the things that stand out? What are the things you notice that you go, wow, I really like them. Why, why do you really like them? What about how they're running their business? Do you really admire, right? Uh, what are the messages that they're telling you? What do they stand for? What do they stand against? Are they sharing that? Are they making that really clear? I think that's really huge too. Or are they just trying to be vanilla and status quo and not rock the boat? In my opinion, I want someone who does rock the boat. I want someone who is really honest and forthright with what they stand for and what they stand against. Okay. The next thing that I encourage you to consider when picking the right coaching investment is the style. So this I'm breaking down into two categories. One is what do you actually like? And one is what do you actually need? So what do you actually like? For example, maybe you like the drill sergeant type of mentor, like the get shit done, no bullshit. Like we're, we're not doing much mindset work here. This is how you get it done. Go right. Um, or maybe you really love like the talk it out verbal processing kind of space where you can verbally process and reach things that way. People who, a coach who gives you very powerful questions, who asks you very powerful questions versus just tells you what to do, right? So what kind of, which really coaching is about powerful questioning. If someone's telling you what to do, it's more so a, uh, probably a done for you or a consultant. That's really the difference between coaching and consulting. Co coaching is like helping you get to the results, helping, help, sorry, helping you get to the solution, um, guiding you to the solution, but the consultant is giving you the solution. Hey, here's the plan, right? Um, I personally, and I'm going to get into this a little bit later on. I do a little bit of both in my coaching, especially in my one-off, uh, days. That's definitely a little bit more like, here's the plan, but it's based on powerful questioning. It's based on you. you we're creating it together. It's not just me. It's really a co-creation if you will, um, versus a long-term coaching relationship that truly is more coaching, powerful questioning, helping you come to it. And I think that is so freaking powerful because in, in a coaching world, a true coaching container, because we're, you're being set up by the coach to know how to make these decisions yourself, to trust yourself versus just relying on someone to tell you what to do. Right. Again, unless it's a done for you situation where you're like, I just want to hire someone to do it for me. That's different. 
Okay. So what do you like? Do you like that more badass, get shit done, no bullshit? Or do you like the more um, kind of, for lack of a better word, this isn't the word I want to even say, but I, I'm struggling to come up with a word right now. Fluffy, <laughs> fluffy or like sweet or kind or gentle or nurturing or caring, right? Um, again, not that the drill sergeant does isn't caring, uh, but there is definitely those different styles, right? So what do you like? And then what do you need? AKA, what are you lacking? Are you, for example, always looking for the next strategy, right? Are you like, I just need this next thing. I just need the secret. I just need the template. I just need that thing. Like, how do you do this? How do you do that? You probably, if that's like your MO and you're still not seeing the success you want, you probably need a balance and someone who can help you learn how to trust yourself, right? Someone who can help you learn how to make those decisions yourself and trust that you don't need another strategy. You don't need another template. You've got everything you need inside you. Maybe what you need is to create your own version of all of that, right? The other side, maybe you're always doing what feels good. You're just like following your intuition, which is amazing, but it's not working out the way you want it to because you're lacking some strategic knowledge, right? You just literally don't know what you don't know. And you probably need someone who can help you balance that amazing intuition and the flow and trust with a solid strategy, right? That matches your energy. So I really encourage you to, to stop here and think about this. I've been talking to a lot of clients about this who are coaching women who are at um, more established parts of their points in their entrepreneur journey, right? They're well into the six multiple six figure range. And a lot of times at that level, people think what they need is more strategy, more high level strategy, more give me this, give me that. And sure, that's going to be part of it. Usually from my experience, um, not only literally my experience, but also coaching people at that level, uh, usually that you just hire someone to do that stuff for you. It's not that you can't learn it and won't learn it, but you just at that point where you're like, I'd rather just someone do it for me. Um, usually at that stage, it is a true blend leaning more towards the embodiment and the mindset. Who are you becoming to step into that next level, right? It's a lot of raising rates. It's a lot of owning your, your power and your coaching, owning your, your prices, like a lot of that kind of stuff. So it's a lot of mindset work. It's interesting. It's less, as you get more and more established, I find it's less about the specific strategy and what you're doing because you know what to do. It's more so playing bigger, going, playing at a bigger level. And that takes a lot of mindset work and it takes a lot of embodiment work. So that's what I notice is a lot of times people get to this place where they think what they need is strategy, 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 but really what they need is that guidance and that support. And like, have you thought of it this way? Have you thought of it that way? Right. Kind of coaching. Um, so what do you actually need? What is your go-to? And you know that about yourself. Like, are you normally a very strategic type A person who's like, go to just find the next strategy, learn the next thing. You probably need a blend. You probably need someone who has a nice blend. Or again, maybe you're the other opposite end of the spectrum where you're, you've had success kind of by just like flying by the seat of your pants and which has been freaking amazing. But you know, you're at this point where you don't know, again, you don't know what you don't know. And you do need someone who's a little bit more strategic. So what's style of coaching do you like and what do you need? You can find a blend. I promise you, you can find a blend, but I really urge you to lean more towards what you need. I really urge you because the whole point of coaching is getting out of your freaking comfort zone. And there's so many times where we just want a coach who feel we feels exactly like us because that's comfortable. Right. And when it comes to, this is why the values was first, right? I believe in having shared values. I believe in having the similar like outlooks and perspectives as far as like what you believe to your core. But I also believe there's such power in learning from someone who does it differently, learning from someone who has different perspectives on the strategic part, on the approach. I really think that can be so incredible for your growth because if you're just hiring someone who does it exactly like you, then are you really getting out of your comfort zone? Are you really looking at, a diff at it from a different way, a different angle, which is maybe exactly what you need to get to that next level. So I really encourage you for the style part is lean more on what you actually need. And this is probably going to be what scares you. This is probably going to be what you're like nervous to tap into. And you're like, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to open up a Pandora's box, Meg. Don't make me do it. That's probably what you need. Okay. Next thing is price. What I always say this, you've probably heard me say this. If you've been a longtime listener of the pod, um, I say this constantly, but what will stretch you, but not stress you. And I mean, stress to the point where you're like, 
I'm spending pretty much everything I'm making so I can't pay my bills, right? I'm not tr- personally a believer in that, especially at more established levels in your business. Now, there will be plenty of other coaches who disagree with me who say that puts you in a state of like, you are going to get shit done. It's going to light a fire under your ass. And you know, that is definitely true for some people. I've seen that happen. Um, and so you've got to trust you that you know yourself enough. Are you that type of person who, when you're put in that position, you're like, let's fucking go. And you just go because you're like, we have to make this work. And it does light a fire under your ass. Or are you that type of person who's like, holy shit, I'm so stressed out now. I have to make this money back. I don't know what to do. And you're going to come from this place of desperation, right? Um, You know, it's kind of like when you do go full-time in your business and and I'm really curious, I'd love you to share this on Instagram with me is, did you wait until you replaced your full-time income to go full-time? Did you have a different situation where you didn't have to be in that, in that, or did you go, I'm going all in, I'm taking a risk, taking a leap and trusting it's all going to work out and then working my butt off. Cause I've seen both. I've seen both, both types of people have a lot of success, right? It just depends for me personally. I did not go quote unquote full-time in my business, AKA get rid of all my side jobs when I was in my beach body business until I replaced my income. I was doing background work on film and television. I was doing, I was cocktail waitressing and I didn't quit those jobs until my beach body income replaced it. And then some, and you know, I'm sure I feel like I'm one of those people and there's definitely a lot of us out there that could have thrived with both, but I think I lean more towards the, I want to replace that. And I'm good to hustle and be a little tired and be a little busy for a while. Cause I'm doing both right. I was doing my other job and building my business to the point where now, okay, great. I've learned so many time management skills because I've had to, I've learned how to hustle in a very short amount of time because I only had certain number of hours a day, right? I I learned how to really focus on what matters and and prioritize and work on specifically money-making activities. I actually really am so happy I had that experience because it taught me so much about everything I just said, time management, prioritizing money-making activities, like not wasting time, productivity, because I literally only had a certain number of hours in the day I had to. Um, and it just taught me like really valuing the both businesses it, or both streams of income. It, it helped me really value the current one I was having that was supporting me building this business, even though I didn't love it. I hated doing background work, honestly, but I was like, no, I'm going to be in gratitude for this because this is supporting me to build this business. And then of course it helped me be so grateful for the business I was building. So you got to know who you are. You got to know yourself, right? And if you are that type of person, that's like, when I invest big, I go balls to the wall and it like lights a fire under my ass and it doesn't put me in that scared zone, then go for it. You know yourself. I'm not going to tell you not to do that. But if you know that you're that person that's going to show up with desperation because you have to make the money back or else, and it's going to have you just like really attached to the outcome and the timeline, I don't recommend doing that. Right. Why are you going to do that to yourself? It's going to, in my opinion, it usually back, not opinion experience. I've seen it a lot. It usually backfires when people approach it that way. So, you know, yourself, what will make you show the F up? Like how I cursed before. And then I just said F I'm so weird. Like what is going to really light a fire under you, but not stress you, right? And sometimes you want to think about it. Maybe you're at that point where you are ready to make a really big investment and you know, you know that the return is going to be later, right? Like most things, you know that it's going to take time. I had a really incredible client who's also a very, very good friend who is uh, in this situation where she totally was switching industry. She was very successful in her business coaching business, like 30K, 40K months consistently, and realized that wasn't her passion anymore. And so she wanted to dive into this other industry that was, it's totally what she's supposed to do, by the way, it's, it's incredible. And she's like, I'm basically starting over, but she saved up a ton because she was making such great money and she had really little overhead. So she said, I'm ready to coach with you. I want to go all in. And my one-on-one coaching package for the full term six months with a two-day in, in, in-person intensive, all the bells and whistles is $24,000. Um, there's obviously a payment plan and she did the payment plan and she was like, I'm going balls to the walls. I am committing. And I loved working with her so much because she said right off the bat, she's like, Hey, I know that I'm pretty much starting over because I'm starting from a new, I'm starting a new 
business. Basically I'm marketing to a new niche. I'm marketing to a new industry and sure. I've been sharing some of this and I have a following, but it was for something different. So I'm going into this. I just want you to know very clear that I, maybe I will see double, triple, quadruple my investment back in a few months after we end this contract, right? Because it's almost like she's starting over, but she's not new. Obviously she's, I wouldn't take someone who's new into a contract like that, obviously. So that was so, and and I made that, I wanted to make sure that was clear, but she kind of brought that to me, which was like why we had such a beautiful coaching relationship, why she had so much growth. Why now a few months later, things are clicking like crazy and taking off so incredibly well for her because she had that long-term mindset knowing, Hey, I'm basically starting over, but I have the knowledge of an experienced person because I literally built a very successful business, but I'm switching. Right. And I know I need support during this switch. So it depends on your mindset going in as far as pricing goes. So if you know, you're that person who, when you pay in full, something ignites you and you go balls to the wall, then I encourage you to figure out how to pay in full. As long as you are in a financial position that you're going to be okay. And you're not going to show up from that desperation. If you're in that place where you're like, it's going to put me into too much of a stressor. I want to do a payment plan. Great. But also just overall consider what you really need. And we're going to go into this in the next one, but I just, I can't stress that enough because I think with pricing so much is thrown out. Like if you don't pay in full, are you really in it? Are you really committed? I've paid in full for most things I've done. And I do, I will say it does really ignite something in me, but I've also had different points in my life where I haven't paid in full. And it's not because I couldn't, I could, but it was different points in our, in our life. Maybe we had less cash flow, and even though we could do it, we wanted to have more of reserves. We wanted to have more savings. We, we didn't need to do it. We knew we had consistent income coming in. Right. So I am totally like, I'm not t- someone who's like, no, you only have to pay in full pay in full is the only way to ignite you. I don't believe that. But if you're doing the payment plan, like you're committing, you are mentally like pretending you paid in full you were committed for this and you know, every month that comes out for a reason and it's going to reignite you every single month again. Right. So I really encourage you to figure out what type of buyer are you, what ignites you, what helps light, light a fire under you. And just remember, don't ever buy something because of FOMO purely like there's, you know, a little bit of FOMO is is never bad, but a lot of FOMO, I, I really question that. I would question yourself if the only reason you're joining something is because of that, I personally wouldn't, wouldn't join. Okay. So next, I could talk about this for literally days, uh, length. The last thing I want you to consider when you're investing, um, in your next mentor, your next coaching program is what do you need lengthwise, or I guess I should say length slash structure. So do you need like a one and done plan? Are you like, I really need this specific skill or this specific strategy or this specific knowledge from this person? I don't feel that I need ongoing support necessarily, but I really want, it's kind of like a done for you, but it's not done for you, right? If it's coaching, it's done with you really. So I want you to consider that right. Um, one and done like an intensive or a VIP day or a shorter modified coaching contract, right? not necessarily looking for long-term support. Maybe you have it through another coach or another program or mentor. You might already have a mentor, but you really, really vibe with this other coach and you want a specific clear plan based on the needs that you have. And they have that expertise, right? Uh, Or they have that knowledge and you really trust them. They have those tools and specific skills you're looking for. It's kind of like filling a gap that you might have, have, or you have had experience or the person you want to hire has had experience in the area you're focusing on. For example, maybe you're like, I am really wanting to optimize my email funnel. Maybe you have an intensive with an email expert, right? Or a funnel expert, right? Um, If you're not (coughs) hiring, excuse me, if you're not hiring them to specifically do it for you. So that's more so like expert hiring last year. That was really what I did. I had an ongoing, um, content and intuitive business mentor and energy healer, um, pretty much the whole year or half the year. But besides that, and we have our relationship coaches who we do a lot of money talk and they're business owners. So we talk a lot about that stuff, but besides that I did um, more one-off things. I hired people for VIP days for very specific purposes, whether it was to plan my year in a strategic way with someone I just really trusted. Um, I did two of those last year, one in January, one in April, end of April. 
Yes. End of April. Um, or, or no beginning of April. I don't know. Sometime in April. And then I did another with someone again for, for funnel building and stuff like that. So it was more like generalized planning again, someone I trusted, honestly, a lot of what I do in my VIP day, but you, you just a lot of times need help with something you're very good at <laughs> for other people. You know what I'm talking about? It's like, why can I do this for everyone else? But if I'm too close to it. I need someone else to guide me. Um, and so that's personally what I've kind of, how I've kind of been operating the last few years, years, because that's where I was at. I was like, I, I don't need ongoing support. I don't need someone to like motivate me. I, I don't need someone to pick me up. I've got my relationship coaches. I've got so much mindset work. Like I really didn't need that. I just needed the one-off stuff, right? I needed the plan to run with. I knew like, I have a team. I have my, myself. I'm very motivated. I like, I will do, I will execute the freaking plan if you give me the plan. So you, if you're in that stage, think about that. Like, what are those types of offers? What are those types of skills that you might need? And then long-term support. Do you need long-term support? And that again is going to be a little bit more mindset work to execute the plan, right? Maybe you're craving someone in your corner, maybe more of a business partner type. And I feel like this is really appropriate when you've had a tough season. Um, when I had my last one-on-one -on -one for long-term support, it was coming off of 2020 or was it 2021? Oh, I hired them in July, 2021. Yes. July, 2021. And that was a really tough season for me because that was right after I had gotten rid of a ton of income and I was kind of like finding myself. I had a launch for a new program that did really well, but profit was really low because we spent way too much on it. I've shared that story. If you haven't heard that, um, on the outside, it looked amazing. And it was like, we had a very high number of enrollments it was a slam dunk in that way, but I just unnecessarily spent on it. And I thought I needed all these bells and whistles. So I was like, okay, I don't care what my sales are. If my profit isn't, isn't what I want it to be. Right. And so that felt, that was like a hit to my confidence. And I was like, man, I need to get this fucking confidence back. I need to like own my shit. Like I know I'm really fucking good at what I do. And I've helped clients have incredible transformations and I have clients stay on for multiple contracts, come back, refer me like, where is that badass? I can do this energy. And so that's when I hired a one-on-one -on -one coach and that's really what I needed. Like, yeah, we did strategy and yeah, we did so much of that obviously, but I really just needed to get that shit back up. And I knew I needed it past like a one-off. I needed it long-term. I needed it for more than a month. I needed it for more than a day, more than a week. And so I did a six month contract and it was exactly what I needed to kind of like get that confidence back up, really own who I am, obviously get clear on my plans and my structure and all that. But that's really who I believe ongoing coaching is for more long-term support. Like you want that person in your back pocket. You want to know they're there for you. You want to know that you have that person who's like, Hey, I'm here. I care about your business, like just like it's mine. And that's really how I approach my private coaching, whether it's my modified three month one or whether it's my long term six month or my 12 month mastermind. I look at my clients' businesses like, I don't want to say as an extension of mine because they're the ones doing the work. Like it's not my wins or my losses, right? If they have wins and losses, uh, but I care so deeply about their business. I know all of their programs. I know the in and outs. I know the deliverables. I know the price. I know when they're launching. Like I get excited about their launches. I send them gifts for their launches. Like I really invest in what they're doing because that's just how I show up. And that's how I want someone to show up for me as far as a one-on-one -on -one goes. Um, and so that's really what I want you to consider when it comes to the length, like, and the, and the, I should say again, length slash structure, what are you really needing right now? And, and be honest with yourself. And, you know, it's definitely going to be a combination of what you want and what you can do right now financially. So just be patient with yourself. Okay. So again, a little recap on how to pick the right coaching investment, consider your shared values with the mentor, the style of coaching that you need, the price point and the length slash structure. Now I'm going to end this just quickly breaking down the three different private coaching packages I personally have available for Q1. And honestly, I'm pretty sure these will be mostly my private coaching packages for all of 2023. I say Q1 because you know, life changes. Uh, we are wanting to do some really big 
big things in our personal life. As I've shared, we want to expand our family. And so you never know what can change. So I always want to say asterisk, but I foresee this being pretty much what I do for the whole year. Obviously, maybe less of certain things um, if I need to alter. So real quick, I'm going to share my style and my values with you. So my style of coaching I love to do very powerful questioning. Um, I went to Coactive Coach Training Institute CTI life coaching program, and it was game changing for my business. It was game changing for my coaching and my clients, really helping my clients figure out what they need to do from this, this style. And it's kind of a, it's, I have a little bit of a blend of powerful questioning, but also my experience and what I've had a lot of clients test out and things like that. So I take really, truly both that that powerful questioning part and the strategic part that really helps um, me and my client create the prescription for what to do, right? It's a plan based on you based on your natural gifts, your strengths. So we can really leverage what I call your unique coaching method to stand out and build your business from that. That's a huge way I approach it. I really use my framework for that, honestly, in every single offer that I have. Um, And it's really that blend of powerful questioning and also my experience and my framework to help you come up with the, the results. So that again, it's not like me just telling you what to do. You have power in this. This is co-creation. This is brainstorming. This is like a business partnership. My values, integrity, and honesty. Like I said before, I will never take a client just because they can pay if they're not the right fit or they're not mentally ready. Uh, Fun and adventure. I like to have fun. My brand is called Pretty Awkward. We do not take ourselves too seriously here. We have to laugh and you need to have that long-term mindset. Within this, you need to be open to trying new things, right? If you're not open to trying new things, I probably don't want to work with you. And the reason is, why are you hiring someone if you just want them to tell you to keep doing what you were always doing, unless that's actually what you need to keep doing, right? I want people who are ready for outside of the box thinking, who are ready to try and possibly fail. That's the thing. Try new things and go, okay, that worked, that didn't, but it's okay. I'm in this for the long haul, right? And they don't go, this has to be it. So really someone who is open and malleable to try new things and have fun. I can't take on a client who can't have some fun in the process, right? Why are we doing this if not for that? Um, Outside of the box thinking, like I just said, willing to try new things, get out of your comfort zone and trust, trust your your mentor, um, someone who also values diversity, equity, inclusion, not only from a background perspective and working with people from all different walks of life, all over the world, all different ethnicities, all different lived experiences. This is really important to me in my community, but also different styles, how they approach their business and why they approach it that way. This has helped me have so many different perspectives on business and ways to approach, which just honestly gives us more to play with, right? This has really been so much fun. And I have so many different clients and perspectives and and styles and a way that they run their business because of their life that I have all these tools in my toolbox now that I can be like, all right, let's see which one works for you. Let's pick your, you know, the best avenue for you based on all these, these experiences. And then lastly is radical responsibility. And I shared this in a a couple episodes ago. I think it was my last heart to heart actually about commonalities between my clients, but this is also my value too, is taking responsible. I take responsibility for my own actions and I expect my clients to as well uh, for their actions and their results. So again, before I list out the the three really quick, these are all four established business owners, people, again, who have already been in business for a while, have seen financial success, have signed clients, built programs. If you're starting out and not quite full-time, again, do not worry. I have something coming for you near the end of February, early March, if you're wanting to invest in support um, in that way. So these offers are for you if you are hitting the boxes in these three things. You're full-time in your business, but you maybe have been feeling a little stuck in the last six months and you just know something needs to change about your approach to get to that next level. And that could be a change in the way you sell, in the way you're messaging, the way you use social media, or even the offers. This is huge. I'm changing a good chunk of my offers around this year, not like all, we're not ripping everything to the ground and building back up, but we're making some modifications because you got to do your audit, right? Part of my framework, my APEC framework, which is really what I use to help people who are kind of in the biz remodel phase, they know something needs to change. A stands for audit. You have to audit and see what's working and what's not. And a lot of times we think our programs are perfect and it's actually the program that needs to tweak a little bit. 
Um, this is also for you. If you're craving a big jump or jump, <laughs> jump or bump, craving a big bump in your profit this year, and know you have the foundation to get there. You just kind of need help figuring out what needs to be added, leveraged or removed to make it happen. Or you have changed and want your business to reflect that you want your model of your business to match the life you want to have. Maybe you are wanting to start a family or you are prioritizing your marriage a little bit more, or you feel like you've been neglecting some other things in your life that you don't want to neglect anymore, whatever it might be. Or honestly, you just want more time to do nothing and take naps, which I love, right? So whatever that might be, you have changed and you realize you want to change how you operate and you don't love your day to day. So here are the three different offers. First is 90 minute intensives and I'm running a January special. Um, it's $500 off and you get two weeks of Voxer coaching support. Usually after a 90 minute intensive, you get one. So not only is it $500 off until January 31st, but you also get one extra week of Voxer support. And this is as long as you, um, as long as you put a deposit down by January 31st for February, March, or April. Um, and this, I have this on my website, but I love how it, I love this, uh, little tagline for 90 minute intensives, solve your biggest, I need help conundrum in this hot as a laser, high impact business planning session. That's really, truly what it is. This 90 minute intensive is perfect for anyone who really wants a deep dive into a specific part of their business with a concise, but powerful coaching session. So some things that we can cover in this, in these 90 minutes, developing your unique method, what makes you stand out, how to market it 2023 biz plan overview and audit. Um, possible product suite remodel, a specific launch strategy you want to go over, or content plan to support your brand growth in the ne next six to 12 months, or for a specific launch. I've had a lot of people hire me to do content planning for a specific launch in a 90 minute intensive. Um, and this is really, if you did go to my uh, biz remodel workshop, this is going to be going over the A in the APEC framework, the audit, and then a little bit of the prescription, which is the C, the changes you need to make. It's 90 minutes. We can't go deep into everything, obviously. So it's not going to be nitty gritty details. It's going to be more of an overview. So, but again, it's really choose your own adventure. We figure out what the 90 minutes can be best used for one of the things I just mentioned or that over overall audit. Again, $2,000 until January 31st. It's normally $2,500. Um, you need to put a deposit down by January 31st to hold your spot. I do have payment plans, yes. So you can uh, definitely inquire about that. Um, so this is really for you if you don't want or you aren't in the position to invest a ton or you simply don't need long-term support like I just walked you through, right? And you just want a quick and concise planning session on one key area in your business or an overall audit. And you want that plan to run with and execute with yourself or your team. The next offer is a little bit more detailed. It's kind of like the intensive, but with a lot more specifics and details. And that's my VIP day. I offer these both virtually and in person. Um, my January special for that is if, as long as you lock in your deposit by the end of January, you get three additional weeks of Voxer. This is a wild, my friend, a wild, uh, normally I charge $1,500 a month for one-on-one -on -one Voxer only, and you're getting three extra weeks. You already get a week with your VIP uh, day package. You're getting an extra, uh, three weeks completely for free. If you secure your spot by the end of the month. So it's really for implementation and support after. It's basically like a month of intensive one-on-one -on -one coaching. This is really biz remodel and 2023 expansion for established entrepreneurs. Kind of think of this as a six-month package fit into one power pack day. Me grabbing your hand and being like, let's go to the front of the line so you don't have to wait six months to implement the plan that will help you increase your profit this year. Some things that I have people focus on in VIP days is expanding your offerings to reach a new client who's ready to pay you more. Uh, this requires a slightly altered messaging uh, approach, offer clarity, definitely got to change that up a little bit. And of course, some research. Uh, this We could also focus on your approach, how to approach your next launch differently so you can have your biggest and most stress-free launch yet. And we could do a complete, complete detailed launch plan, maybe reworking your niche and social presence to be known as the expert in something you're super passionate about. This will do a lot of in-depth, unique coaching method, brand development, content creation for long-term. 
2023 biz remodel, restructure your overall business setup to better align with your personal life goals. If you need more time back, if you're planning for maternity leave, if you want to be on less, that's what we'll really focus on in this day. The pricing for this is 7,500 in person, um, or virtual is 4,500. I'm not going to go into details right now for all of the specifics and logistics. Um, once you apply, we'll talk about that more uh, as far as like what cities are available and things like that. But again, you just need a deposit to hold your spot by the end of the month to get that special of three extra weeks of Voxer coaching. Normally I book these months out, but especially if it's in person, because there's travel involved and we have to plan accordingly. So again, I'm booking these through, I say April, but I'm very open to booking those also in May. Um, I try not to do it too far past that, like in, within four months. Um, and of course I have payment plans available as long as you pay your balance by the time we start together. So those can be very flexible for you. And similar to the 90 minute intensive, if you're not looking for long-term support or you're not in the, pay, the place to pay for it right now, but you really want a detailed plan of action for your next six months. Um, so you know exactly what changes you're making, what steps you need to execute the changes effectively. I take you through my entire framework, my APEC framework to help you get more profitability in depth. So so this is really, if you want a detailed in-depth step-by-step plan to run with and execute with yourself and, or your team, no guesswork. It's like, here's the plan. Let's go. That's who this is for. And I have had people, I've had a lot of past clients come back and just do this like once or twice a year, this, cause this really can set you up for long-term. So this could be something you want to book like a few months before you have, you want to have a big launch, for example. Or you want to take advantage of a certain period in your year that you know you can have an influx of clients come in. And then the last one is my private coaching. And this is really someone who wants long-term support during those ups and downs of business. You know that you need someone in your back pocket to help you navigate through all of that. My January special for this is I am running a three-month modified version. Normally my my one-on-one is six months and I'll give you details on that. Um, but I'm doing a three-month modified version, but I only have three spots available for this. This, and this includes monthly calls and private boxer coaching. The way I approach my private coaching is I kind of said this before, but a true business partnership, right? It's truly a, a business partnership for someone who's established in entrepreneurship, who's really ready to remodel their business for that increased profitability. They want more alignment and they really want to experience more work-life harmony. They're like, I know I'm ready to scale to that next level, but I do not want to sacrifice what's important to me. And I'm scared that I will do that because I've almost done that. I've been really tempted to, and I just know I cannot keep up with that, right? It's not about just increasing your revenue or your profits. Although of course that's a huge part of it. It's really about connecting with the impact that you want to make long-term why you want to make it and how you want to see it come to life in a way that is totally unique to you and really aligns with your personal life commitments. This is not someone who wants a quick fix. This is someone who's like, I really want to have someone hold this vision with me over these next three or six months. I'm really ready to think bigger and not think month to month anymore. I want to think long-term with my business. So for my one-on-one -on -one for my six month, it is six months. <laughs> uh, it's, you get a 90 minute call a month and in intensive. We do three 60 minute SOS calls to use anytime throughout the six months. So those are additional calls. Usually people use those during like launches, things like that. Uh, weekly boxer access Monday through Friday, nine to five, all my courses for life and one in-person VIP weekend, uh, which is just two days that we get together and all accommodations, food, entertainment covered. And this, my last client who did this said like, she would want more of this. She's like, that was the best part. And we had so many breakthroughs at this in-person experience. So I am open to as well, actually splitting this into two separate days, one more near the beginning of the contract and one more near the end um, so that we can have two separate days. So I'm very open to that as well, but it was just, it's so much magic happens when you're in person. It was incredible. Pricing for this, it's 24,000 or six payments of 4,000. Um, I have some alternative pricing packages as well, but that's the, the price for the full one-on-one. -on -one. So this special I have, this three-month modified, you can only do this package once. So that's one thing. And I only have three available, but you can only do this once. You can't keep just renewing at this because otherwise that wouldn't make sense, right? But this is a special I'm doing right now. And it's kind of to, um, I don't want to say test out, but really go, okay, if I have, especially if I haven't worked with someone, um, let's like really go in and focus on one specific goal for these three months that can really help move the needle forward for you. And then we can evaluate and go, great. What would we do in a full six month next? Right. It's someone who does want that eventually, but who wants to kind of like in the way, test the waters. 
So again, if it interested in one of these spots, um, that's something that I only have three, three available. I have someone else in, in this part, in this uh, package right now. So please, if this is something that interests you, do not sit in this. I don't, I don't usually stress that a lot, but these are actually limited because I'm not doing too much one-on-one coaching. So this structure is three months, one 90 minute call a month. And then Monday through Friday, Voxer pretty simple. Okay. And that is 9,000 for three months. So 3000 a month, or if you pay in full, which this is a wild discount, you get 8,000, you get it for 8,000. So you get either 8,000 pay in full or 3000 a month for three months. This really is for you. Again, if you want a detailed plan of action, especially if you're doing the full one-on-one for six months plus, so you know exactly what changes you're making, what steps you need to take to execute the changes effectively, but also what hands on want hands-on support while you implement, especially for the mindset shit that pops up, right? You want in real-time feedback on your work as you're executing from me and guidance, as you're handing things off to your team. I look over sales pages, emails, all of that. I take you through my entire APEC framework, like I said, in depth, basically like having someone in your back pocket as you execute for three straight months or six straight months. So you do not second guess, right? To help you go, remember, this is why we had this plan because it's really easy to get the plan and then try to question it or not follow it or alter it unnecessarily, right? And so that's who this is for. If you're interested in any of these packages, make sure that you go to the link in the show notes, my general coaching application. All of this is reiterated for you there. So you don't have to memorize all of this, but I know a lot of my people are very audio learners. So I wanted to have one episode where I laid it all out for you. You can bookmark this to come back to in the future. If you're like, I can't do this right now, but I know I want to work with you in the future. Now, you know, all the details, I will say big asterisk prices are not necessarily going to be the same forever, right? Prices might change as of now. That's what it is. Um, if you are interested in the three month coaching, I want you to note that the in somewhere in your application, anywhere, it doesn't matter, but wherever you're supposed to like write, if it's not a drop down, just note that you're interested in possibly doing the three month option for the one-on-one. And if you're like, Meg, I don't even know which one I I want. I don't know which one I need. Do I need the 90? Do I need the VIP day? Do I need the, the one-on-one? I really want to consider what I, what I can put in my budget or what I was planning on investing, or maybe I wasn't even planning on investing. And now I am, I'm not sure go apply. Like that's why I did a general application. Cause I find a lot of times people don't know what they need. I've had people apply for one-on-one and I'm like, you don't need that. You just need a 90 minute intensive. Or I've had people apply for 90 minute intensive. And I'm like, Whoa, this is too much. We, we can get as much as we can done, but I just want you to know what really would benefit you in the situation you're in right now is actually doing a longer term contract, right? That's going to benefit you more long-term and really help you get to your goals. So I'm really careful about that. I'm also careful about not taking someone on again, just because you can pay. I want to make sure you are in the right mental space and we are going to be a good match stylistically. Like I just told you throughout this whole episode. So I hope this episode helped you. I really, I'm so excited for your growth this year and I want you to make the best investment for you. So whether it's with me or someone else, I I really encourage you to get support in some way if you can, Um, especially if you're established and you're really wanting to work through some things to get to that next level. If you've been a little stuck, like coaching is so freaking powerful, especially when you have someone else who's like supporting you and holding space for you in that way. It's just so incredible and I'm experiencing it right now and I'm loving it. And it's, it's just really amazing to have. And I absolutely love doing this for my clients. So if you have any questions about any of the packages, you can DM me on Instagram, but again, remember an application is just to start a conversation. I'm going to say this a ton. Anytime I talk about my coaching. Because I think people get so nervous, like they applied and that's it. Like they signed their soul to the devil. It's like, no, 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 you just applied. It's okay. I'm not one of those people who's going to trick you into paying me like at all or guilty or anything like that. That is not my MO. I think you know that by now. Um, But if you really are interested or intrigued, apply. You have literally nothing to lose and we can just talk about it. See if it's the right fit for you right now or down the line. And again, I have payment plans for every single offer, depending on when it happens um, and your situation. So thank you in advance for, um, for taking that radical responsibility and applying and taking that risk and going, Hey, I know I am ready. I am ready to get to that next level. And I want support again, regardless if it's with me or you already have your eyes on someone else. I hope these four steps to make the right next best investment for you really helps guide you in the right direction. Thank you, my friends. And I'll see you in the next episode.